Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to A Different Opinion. Today we will be looking at what happened before the England and Iran World Cup game just recently. And the reason why I'm kind of like highlighting this is because the Iranian football team, the men's team, did not sing the national anthem to show solidarity with the protesters in Iran and with the women trying to get their freedom in Iran. And it's crazy to think that these protests have been going on for, I think, about nine weeks now, 10 weeks now. And hundreds of people have been injured. People have been shot. Kids have died during these protests, everything. So it's definitely a massive, massive thing going on over there at the moment. People are facing death sentences from the courts for protesting for freedom for women. So it's definitely something... I want to always keep on highlighting because not everyone is highlighting it, but there are more and more stories popping up now, especially with the World Cup coming along, BBC and all that kind of are starting to highlight this again. It's good to see that they're finally re-highlighting these things, even though it's been going on for so long and there was that quietness probably from about week three to week eight. There was nothing heard from the mainstream media. But before we do jump into this one here today, it's a couple of videos to show you. If you do want to help support the channel, see videos in the future as well, please subscribe below the video. You'll be able to see my videos even when sometimes I say things that YouTube don't agree with and they kind of hide it. Like the videos that you do like and also comment with your opinions. Let me know what you think as well. Um, I always do read the comments as well and try to get back to you if I can. So let's jump into this one here. Have a look at the national anthem from Iran's World Cup opener against England, the national anthem. Even though they lost 6-2, I mean, England did smash them in the game, but, you know, to see this is is good enough. And to make the World Cup is hard enough in, in football and soccer, as some people would say. So you can see here, I mean, no one's singing the, the national anthem as well. And it's it's so so good to see that all the players and, and everyone is in solidarity with the protesters and showing their support. Because... If you could actually, if I could have the sound on without getting copyrighted, because that's what happened when I first recorded this, is they were actually booing as well. The, the crowd was booing their national anthem and mostly by their own Iranian players just to show that support. And there's obviously just this one guy that's singing the national anthem. No one else is at all. And everyone else is on the same page except that damn guy there. But it's just so powerful to see this whole team who usually are crazy and you know sing the national anthem very loudly and proud to not even be singing it at all is you know a big step in my opinion because obviously football is by far the biggest sport over there in iran so well done to the players i hope they have a good rest of their tournament even though the first game didn't go very well but i'll definitely be supporting them going ahead um and hoping that they get good results right i mean there was a i believe it was a bodybuilder or a wrestler one of the two who spoke out against the corruption of the government in the past and he was actually put to death and then straight from there you can jump straight into here just to show you on the ground i've seen a lot of reports going around and i mean even justin trudeau <laughs> tweeted that fifteen thousand people have been sentenced to death in iran this is not true this is obviously a wild rumor that went around that isn't true but they have imprisoned nearly fifteen thousand people so not sentenced to death, but imprisoned nearly 15,000 people in about 10 weeks. So this was from November 8th, so about two weeks ago. So 10 weeks has been going on. And there have been, yeah, as you can see here, over 300 protesters have been killed during these protests. It's, it's a bit messed up and, yeah, horrible to see. But you can see here. Today's female university students remove their forced hijab and chant, I am a free woman. I mean, you see what happened in Afghanistan. Women are not allowed to have an education anymore. They got to cover up all the time. They don't have any rights at all anymore. And, you know, no education doesn't bode well for trying to get your own freedom as well because, you know, then you're dealing with uneducated people. But you can see here and listen to this.
And just even even them taking off their hijabs like that, they could be sentenced to jail or worse as well. Full list of Iranian protesters facing death sentences by resume. At least 21 pr protesters in Iran at risk of receiving the death penalty. I believe there's already been two people actually sentenced to get the death penalty um, for protest. You know, I think one was setting a public building on fire or something like that. I mean, that's a bit, you know, stupid. I don't know why people would want to burn down buildings, but it's just kind of, yeah, it doesn't, it's not the best look for your protest to get the woman's rights. Just keep protesting, showing up. And eventually something's got to give. Like, I'm hoping. I hope something happens, right? So since November 13, Iran's authorities have already sentenced to death five unidentified protesters who were accused of enmity against God and corruption on earth for their role in mass demonstrations that have shaken the country since the death of the 22-year-old Kurdish woman, Masa Amini, in, December, in September. The death sentence, according to Amnesty International, were justified by Iran's authorities for acts of arson, destruction of property, and fatal assault to a member of the security forces committed by the five individuals during protests in Tehran province. And that's the thing. Some of these security forces have died as well, but they are coming out with weapons against the protesters as well. That's kind of, you know, a catch-22 because either the protesters are going to die or, you know, the security forces are going to die. So they always have something to fall back on unfortunately according to amnesty at least 21 others including a woman are currently facing capital charges in connection with protests as thousands of people were arrested for the mass anti-government demonstrations across the country the ngo fears the number who could be charged with death penalty could be much higher so it's not the crazy 15,000 amount as a lot of people have reported it is now five already and obviously more facing this as well so i'm hoping no one else gets put to death I'm just hoping, you know, don't go burning down buildings and everything like that. Keep protesting in the streets and fight for the freedom for yourselves and, you know, and for the woman of the country and back to how it used to be. Instead of making women have to live by a different set of rules than the men have to. And I mean, we can all accept that, right? As men, we can accept that, you know, women should have the exact same rights as us. Anyone from any normal country believes that. But obviously some countries are still a little bit behind of that. So we'll see how it happens. Hopefully it comes through peacefully. But we'll see. Let me know what you think in the comments. Also like the video if you did like it. And definitely subscribe if you do want to help support the channel. And see future videos as well. And help kind of, you know, shed a bit of light on what's happening there in Iran. And hopefully more and more people can see this. Thank you for watching. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video.